Hi guys, it's Mike Jacoby from Point Grey. In this video, I'll show you how to take your Ladybug stream file and make it compatible for YouTube's new 360 degree viewing. First thing you'll need to do is download YouTube's 360 video metadata tool. So go to Google and type in upload 360 degree videos to YouTube and click on the support.google.com link. It should be one of the top links. Give the page a quick read to get an overview and then click to download the tool. For me, I'm using Windows, so I'll download the Windows version of the tool. Now I've already downloaded it and put it on my desktop. And what we need to do is unzip the contents of this file. I have another folder on the desktop that I created that has my PGR stream file. And I'm just going to drag and drop the contents of the zip file into this folder. Okay, when that's done, we need to convert our PGR stream file to MP4 so that the YouTube tool can read it and do its thing. So open up Ladybug Cap Pro and load your stream file. I'm going to open up mine. I'm just going to choose high quality linear on GPU, but feel free to choose whichever best suits your needs. Type is panoramic. Set the format to H.264. My output size is 8000 by 4000. Then click the convert button. I'm going to save the file to my desktop folder where I extracted the YouTube tool. I'm going to bump up my bit rate to 35,000 kbps and I'll keep my frame rate at 24. All right, click convert. Now this will take some time depending on how long your stream file is. I've already converted a stream file to H.264, so we'll work with that. Once your stream file is done converting, go into your metadata tool folder and open up the 360 video metadata tool executable. A dialog box will open asking you to select your H.264 MP4 video file. Here I'm selecting the PGR stream file we just converted to MP4. I'm going to open it. A dialog box will say that it doesn't have any metadata. It says track zero metadata non found. That's normal because this tool is going to add that metadata. So click the bottom button, inject and save. Select a folder to save the file. I'm just going to overwrite a video that I already converted. Click save and a pop-up will say file save. Okay, so this video file with the metadata is the file you want to upload to YouTube. I've already uploaded a previous 360 video file, but when your upload is done, you'll want to check it on Google Chrome. You'll see that when I open the YouTube link in Firefox on the left, you don't get the true 360 view. While on my right in Google Chrome, you'll get the 360 nav circle at the top left of the video. That's it. Hope this video helped. Questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.